Now, what exactly is inheritance? Inheritance is a ability to copy the properties of one class into outside the class or uh, with other classes. So this is what we have. Now let's go ahead and uh, con use that concept in a program and understand that. So now inheritance is dependent on which section are you defining uh, your attributes or methods to. So let me now declare a class definition in class. Here I'll go for public section and then in public section I will define something like data. This is the attribute data a of 10 type C value India. Then I am declaring methods M1. Then I have protected section. I am using something like data B of 10 type C value value. Happy. Then I will declare something like methods M2 and then private section. Private section, then we have this data some k of 10 type C value. independence okay so i think one two three four five six. maybe i'll make it as 15. now then i'll go for methods m3 sorry this should be m2 right so i can't declare a uh, same name with uh, okay. uh, method with same name okay now we'll go ahead with the after this, we'll go ahead with the implementation part. Class C1 implementation and class method M1 and method. Here I'll say write I am in public section. Then method M2 and method and this I'll say write I am in predicted section method m3 and method right um section okay so here we have uh, declared uh, we have written the logic for all the three now let us now go ahead and consume this property uh, this class in a in a program so I'll go ahead with so yes oh, in now then after this what we'll do is we'll go ahead with data 
OPJ type ref2 C1 and then we have startup selection and in this we will go for create object OBJ. Now uh, we will write something call method OBJ M1. Okay, so let's do the syntax shift activate execute it. So you will get the output as I'm I'm in public section. This is working fine. Great. Now let's go back and go ahead and write another uh, logic here that call method obj m2 okay now we will have a problem the system says the system says you cannot you know access the protected section you cannot access the protected section this is what the system says so here we will go ahead with uh, call method obj m3 this also will have the same uh, error so i'll comment this that is not line again this uh, same kind of issue will come because it's in private section it's in private section this is what we have okay now this also will comment it and we'll try to use that protected section so we need to understand uh, one thing is very clear that we can neither access the protected section or private section of a class in the program that's clear but what is the difference between protected and private is what we need to understand right so protected as i told you earlier can be used in a subclass now we will create create a subclass here class c2 definition inheriting from c1 now what happens when you write like this it becomes a subclass c2 becomes a subclass to c1 now here we'll go for class definition so i'm, I'm writing public section and in this i'm writing something like uh, methods m4 and say something like Here I wrote something data A no A no K and you like And then since uh, m4 is the method that we have declared uh, we need to write the implementation as well so remember if you don't have any methods in the class you don't have to write the implementation implementation becomes mandatory when we have at least one method in the class so class c2 implementation then we have in class so here in this we can say write something like uh, method M4 and method. So it's a public section. Now what we'll do is we'll say, um, say, say write So I'm saying write B. So if you if you observe here, B is not declared in the uh, in the object at all. So I, I'm, I'm I mean like B is not declared in the C2 class. Now let's see how it works. We'll go ahead here and we will say call method. Uh, we also have to create a object for this class two right, right? 
so i'll go for obj2 or ob2 type ref2 c2 okay and here also we we'll have this create object ob2 then we'll write call method obj and ob no ob2 and 4 say so that's it activate so happy is been typed okay let's understand this see what i did is instead of if if i try to access this m2 directly it doesn't work here See M2 directly if I if I call it uh, it doesn't work. Why? Because M2 is being used in the predicted section. So I am not able to call this M2 method directly into the program. And also I cannot write this B also. If I try to write the B, it again throws the same error. So let me let me also show you that. I can write the write A directly, but B I cannot write. Okay. So let me show that one as well. So these are the methods part and let's come to the uh, objects part as well so what i'll do is i'll go for write obj write obj uh, a this works perfectly fine because obj a is declared in the public section so you can directly access it from the program so and execute it India is in um, no uh, this is uh, in in A what is typed is India so India is coming first so if you if you see here India is coming first and that's been typed okay but then if I try the same thing for write OBJ B it doesn't work why because B is something which we declared in the we declared in the predicted section so uh, we cannot use b directly now then what we are doing we are making use of this b or we are writing the b inside another inherited class so when you are calling it from inherited class like here we are writing this if you see the 37th line we are writing write b means what we are actually typing that now instead of directly typing it we are typing it from here so i'll go for this as slash b So India has been typed first. India has been typed first. Then happy. So you see, India, I am in public section and happy. So happy is what it's the it's the word that we stored in B. Okay, and it's getting typed here. And how are we doing it? We are trying to do it through a, a subclass. But again, now if you go to the class. Now, if you go to class and try to access this, uh, you know, private section. In private section, what is the field that we have declared is K. If you try to access this K into our uh, program, it doesn't work. I mean, like into the second class. Let's see that. Here, I'll say write. slash k it will not work it will throw an error why because k is not in the public or private section it's there in the predicted, uh, public or predicted section it's there in the private section so if it's a private section it throws an error saying that k is unknown it is neither in one of the specified fields nor in the data statement this is what will be the error. Fine. So we are we are actually able to access the public section directly outside the class and predicted section, predicted section only within the class and its inherited classes. And private section, we are not able to use it anywhere.
anywhere only inside the program only we can use it okay now let's use the let's use the private section so how do how are we going to make use of the private section so in the private section of the class we have declared something like k and in the k we wrote independence okay that is that means that needs to be typed then what we can do is we can simply use it within the class so in private section right k that's it so independence has to be typed now let's see if it works and what are we going to do we are going to make use of this okay see i cannot type this private section directly from private section right um i cannot use it from the program so what i'll do is i will type this okay let me because private section you cannot directly call from the program so what i'll do is i'll keep it in this one so that we'll have this slash so please remember k cannot be typed cannot be called directly from the pro from the program that's very clear but here what are we doing we are writing this k we're calling it from the another method of the same class now what is k k is a variable that we declared in the in the private section of the class please remember that so we have declared k in the private section so let's see now by default anyways we were we were able to call this m1 and when we call this m1 it should it should also type the k value so here we are calling the m1 so it should it should uh, call this and it should print the value of k Now you see independence has been typed means because we are calling that k within from the within the uh, method of a class it's been able to access it but then we have used we have declared or we have declared this we have uh, used the write statement for k in the public method why because if you do it in the public method only you can call it directly from the program this is what we have now i have added this program that we have uh, done till now into sir here can i inherit so i have shared the code in adapteducation.com just type this and uh, you will get this code here just type adapteducation.blogspot.com and you will get this the title is SAP about foods in inheritance.